Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. I know it's been a long while since I've been back and I'll get into all that as I go into the video. I don't want my intro to be too, too long. So I know I've been gone for a long, long time, but I'm coming back with a bang with lots of fun videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys didn't mean... Let me start that again. So hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much. I missed you guys a lot. I missed making videos. I missed reading all your comments, replying to all your comments and just making videos in general. I missed doing. So why I stopped, I don't know. I will get into it all when I'm doing my makeup. But as you guys will have seen by the title today, I'm going to be doing Instagram chooses my makeup. I did do this probably about a year ago now. I'll link it in the eye. I don't know which side it is. If you guys want to check out what happened last time but yeah i've got all the makeup that you guys chose for me on instagram in this little box here so if you ever want to be involved in a video like this make sure you go and follow my instagram it's always linked down below but my username is just alana Kali. so if you ever want to be involved go and follow me over there but yeah let's just keep that intro nice and short and sweet and let's jump straight on into the video okay so i've already cleaned my face i haven't put any face cream or anything on today just purely because i'll be honest i'm in a rush and i can't be bothered so what's new <laughs> but let's jump straight on in to the makeup so i can't remember the percentages off the top of my head but i'm sure i'll, I'll have screenshotted the percentages i'll leave it I'll leave like a picture somewhere first things first we've got primer and the primer that you guys chose was the xx revolution hydrofix primer now i'm actually really glad that you guys chose this primer because i love this primer it leaves my skin with that like tacky feel but it also leaves my skin feeling nice and smooth and just hydrated like although my skin is very oily in the winter it's like a combination of oily and dry which i feel like is quite hard to combat so i feel like this primer helps me out a lot because it just keeps my skin nice and hydrated and especially when i'm not using any face creams or skincare at all skincare by hiram will be furious with me but yeah i'm not i'm not really sticking to my skincare routine at the minute so i'll take any hydration that i can get Okay, so now that my skin is all primed, I'm gonna move on to brows. And I gave you guys the choice between brow powder and a brow pencil, and you guys chose the brow pencil. So I'm gonna be using the XX Revolution Faux Brow Pencil today. Mine is in the shade Deep Brown, and it is actually too dark. It's actually too dark for my hair. It's the same color as my eyebrows, but my, my eyebrows are a lot darker than my hair. So it does like, it makes my eyebrows look a little bit harsh sometimes but i do actually really like the brow product itself so there is one quite messy eyebrow done it's been so long since i've done my makeup that i've honestly forgot how to do stuff so as you guys know i don't really like using eyebrow pencils anymore to fill in my eyebrows i much prefer using a pomade or a powder just because i find it a lot easier and I get my eyebrows done a lot quicker. However, I actually really, really like this eyebrow pencil. I just wish it was a different shade. I would definitely use it more often. And it's strange because it's not a micro brow pencil, which are usually my favorite types of brow pencil. It's one of the like triangle shaped pencils that kind of fills your brows in quicker, but it's so easy to use. It's that perfect in between of soft but firm. So like you don't waste too much product and you don't have to constantly keep winding the pencil up to get more product and yeah i feel like the pencil is going to last me a long time and i would 100 percent recommend it but i just wish i had the right shade but yeah because i'm in a rush i'm just going to quickly do the other one off camera i'm going to be right back to do the rest of my makeup okay so we're not even going to talk about my eyebrows because yeah i'm not happy they took me way longer than i have time for so but yeah, I actually do really like the eyebrow product, but I was just struggling today. But next up, we've got foundation. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. This is the one that you guys chose for me. I actually really like this foundation. I used to use it all the time. As you can see, there is 
a lot of the foundation missing uh i've used it a lot i really really like it would 100 percent recommend blends in so easy it's spf 30 so that's always great and it just looks so nice on the skin as well and it's not too heavy it just you kind of can't even feel that it's on your skin comes with a pump as well which i really like just whilst i bounce this in to my skin i just feel like this is a good time to kind of catch you guys up a little bit so obviously i've not been uploading videos and truthfully i could have been because i've got videos pre-recorded but that is kind of part of the reason why i took a little bit of a break so i was doing quite good like getting videos pre-recorded pre-edited and just ready to go up uh on schedule and then um i started a project plan and it was all going great got to the end of the project plan starts editing the video and as i'm editing the video i realized that the first bit that i filmed at the start of the month had actually deleted itself and i have no idea why but it had gone and obviously i'd also filmed i believe two videos mentioning the pro project plan video and one of them was to do with the project plan so like those videos like i got them and i still might post them but they kind of just one of them especially just doesn't really make any sense now um so i'm gonna do another project pan video because it was a lot of fun and i do want to do it again because i do want to clear out some of my makeup if i can um but yeah that just like it really just kind of tipped me over the edge because i've been feeling really low at the minute and it's doing my head in honestly and i'm fed up with moaning about it and like i feel like mental health is kind of i it's kind of like it's hard to go through because even if someone feels like depressed like how you're feeling no one ever truly knows exactly how you're feeling even if they think they feel the same no one knows what you're feeling and it it, it is just kind of you have to deal with it by yourself because no one knows how to help you and even you sometimes don't know how to help you but yeah i'm really trying my best to just bounce back now and just make myself feel like me again because i've literally just been like oh. well i've stopped doing my skincare which i don't know why because i enjoy doing my skincare so that's just dumb i don't really do makeup anymore i I'm just not really doing anything and I'm fed up with feeling like it now. It's really doing my head in. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's time for me to bounce back now. But that is why I took a little bit of a break. So I was feeling quite low and then the video deleting itself just was like the tip of the iceberg. I was like, nope, I can't do it. I'm so fed up. So I just took some time to myself to regain some sanity. <laughs> I love that foundation it's got such good coverage like i had loads of red spots down here and you can still see them peeking through a little bit but for how red they are this foundation is really really good so now i'm going to move on to concealer and the concealer that i'm going to use is the l'oreal infallible more than concealer concealer do you know what i put my hair up because it was doing my head in but like i still have little baby hairs that just get in my way so i'm gonna put the headband in too And then just quickly before I start to crease up like it's nobody's business, the setting powder that you guys chose was the RCMA No Colour Powder. Love this powder, you guys know I love this powder. So this is a brand new one, but I have some in this little pot here just because it's easier to get it on my face that way. Just quickly whilst I finish setting my face. I have been dealing with so much bad luck lately it's not even funny so first of all my video deleted like unlucky and then do you know them combs i will show you guys in a minute them combs that have got like the metal tip at the end so you can do like a really clean part down the middle well i use them combs when i'm straightening my hair to get my like center parting kind of perfect yeah i managed to 
stabbed that straight in my eyeball trying to do a part in like how did i even do that this eye part in i don't get it yeah i stabbed the little metal bit straight in my eye i had like a red dot right under the like colored bit of my eye i don't know what it's called i'm sure someone will know in the comments yeah i stabbed right there and honestly i felt it all the way in the back of my eye so i have no idea how far back that actually like got stabbed luckily i didn't pull my eyeball out but yeah that wasn't nice um very unlucky i don't know how i even did that um and then i got an also which i know is not that unlucky like people get them but mine is like right under my lip right under where my um my canine tooth is i think that's what they're called so every time i talk it is just rubbing on the canine tooth and i keep biting it because my it actually sits under the canine tooth so the canine tooth keeps like just scraping it all the time and keeps biting it so i keep taking the head off it so it can't heal properly and it kills it's absolutely killing me and we went shopping the other day and forgot to buy bonjello and we do like a big shop like once a month and then we don't really go shopping that often after that like maybe once like towards the end i don't really know like sometimes we don't even really need to do that but yeah we forgot to buy bonjello and i don't really need to go shopping so i'm probably not gonna get any uh so i'm just gonna sit here and have to suffer with it and then the like icing on the cake oh my god our fridge freezer is like giving up so we've had to go and buy another one which is okay because it's fine like we have the money for that it's okay but the problem is that is now took out of the christmas fund which we were fully on on like on that target with like we had enough money to get everyone presents and stuff which i hate stressing about presents at christmas so that was nice and then the fridge freezer broke so we've just gone and brought a new one and now i'm going to struggle to get some people like what they want which is really annoying because i was really on ball with it this year even though we left it really late but um yeah i'm gonna i'm not gonna struggle it's just gonna be like a tight squeeze because i've got to wait for my next pay to get it all and like i'd prefer to have got it we could have got it all um like now like when all the sales was on like really easily and saved money in the long run so it's just a little bit annoying you know so now that's all set in place i just like to go back over with my foundation sponge and just kind of bounce over the top just so it's not so harsh also obviously the new cod cold war came out and um obviously zombies was in it again and i have non-stop been playing zombies since it came out which is really bad because like you can't just play a game of zombies for an hour like you go on for hours and hours and i i've really messed up my sleeping pattern because we ended up like i think the first two days it came out i think i ended up going to bed at like 10 o'clock in the morning and then i was like damn like i might as well just stay awake now so then i would get i would like stay up and then i would like end up crashing like when aurora goes to her like midday nap so aurora goes to her nap at about three like half to three and she doesn't really get up till about like five half five sometimes six o'clock so i would literally just be going for like a nap when she goes for a nap and like i never really do that i like to get stuff done while she has a nap like tidy the house and stuff so then the house ended up getting like an absolute pigsty which wasn't good <laughs> so i had to kind of pull myself away from playing zombies but i just love playing zombies i always have done it's like one of my favorite um games to play and at the minute whilst it's like hyped up everyone else is playing it all the time as well and i much prefer playing with other people even though i do find zombies easier on your own it's just more fun playing with other people i've been talking so much my throat is dry so next up i'm going to move on to bronzer and the bronzer that you guys chose was the bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer i actually really like this bronzer it's a quite a pale bronzer but it's still quite warm which i really like it's not completely matte it is uh, i think it's classed as satin but it's got like a little bit of a shimmer to it so it just adds a little bit of life back into my skin because i have to use like a lot of powder products so where i can get a bring back a bit of life to my skin i will take it <laughs> i've got half an hour to be ready 
and originally I was filming this video because I wasn't going anywhere because I've actually got another video I want to film after this but I'll have to film it when I get back now we're just going for a, a walk on Woolerton Park hopefully we'll get to see some deers because I've always not seen the deers yet but yeah I wasn't going anywhere and then my sister asked me if I wanted to go for a walk around the park so I thought yeah it might as well it gives Aurora a chance to see her auntie and she gets some exercise and some fresh air as well but I'm gonna look like a right loon because I'm gonna turn up to Woolerton Park for a little walk around the lake just like in full whack makeup <laughs> is a lot more pigmented than what I remember. So now onto blush and the blusher that you guys chose was Milani Luminoso. I could honestly keep applying blush all day long. It's an actual problem. Sometimes I honestly think I need somebody sat here with me telling me to put the brush down because I will honestly just keep on going. Right, I can stop him. <laughs> I love that blush though. I'm really glad you guys chose that blush because I don't pick it up that often and I honestly don't know why because I really, really love it. It's such a pretty colour. So now for highlighter and the highlighter that you guys chose was the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut Highlighter. I have the old packaging just because I brought it pretty much when it first came out. This is such a stunning highlighter but honestly, I'm scared of it. Like it's so beaming that i'm scared of it it's like so easy to go overboard with this but it is beautiful you really don't need a lot at all i just tap my brush in but this highlighter is so intense i have no idea like which angle i need to show you guys at but this highlighter is so beaming i love it but i just barely ever use it because i'm just genuinely scared of it because it is so intense and so easy to go overboard with beautiful highlight though right, so now for a little bit of eyeshadow and i'm definitely not going to go too insane because i am only going for a walk around the park but the eyeshadow palette that you guys chose was the by beauty bay fiery matte palette so first off i'm going to go in with the shade sunset right in the middle and i'm just going to pop that on the outer corner of my eye oh i hope you guys can see that pigment <laughs> And that's with a set base as well like usually i like to use eyeshadows with a tacky base now but i just didn't really have the time today but these eyeshadows just don't even need it just gonna run that a little bit through the crease just to help blend it out and then i'm just gonna go in with the shade next to it which is pumpkin spice and i'm just gonna use that just to blend it out oh that was easy that eyes pretty much done with the blending already just took that out a little bit too far but it's not a problem so i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the sunset shade just to kind of re-intensify it a little bit okay so now we need something for the center which i kind of didn't think of i probably should do you know what no i'm gonna take the sunset shade and i'm just gonna pop that all over my lid instead of just on the outer corner Okay, I'm really happy with that. I've made this side a little bit too pointed for my liking, but I actually really like the eyeshadow. I never just do all my eyeshadow, which I think I should do more because sometimes I think it looks nicer. Like, um, it's a lot easier, but sometimes it actually looks a lot nicer. So those are the eyes complete. I love this eyeshadow palette by far. One of the best eyeshadow palettes I own. And it's so affordable too. Okay, so now for some eyebrow gel, which I actually meant to do earlier. So I'm actually a little bit scared because this eyebrow gel is so dark. And I really don't want it to ruin my makeup. But the eyebrow gel that you guys chose was the XX Revolution Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown. actually managed to do it okay with that brow gel this time i don't know why but whenever i put this brow gel on it just makes my eyebrows feel so like cold but like a weird burning feeling as well it's so bizarre and i have no idea how to explain it but i actually really like this brow gel it is a little bit too dark for my brows but i am wanting to dye my hair i say soon but like honestly i never know when it's gonna happen nowadays but i wanted to dye my hair a darker color so yeah that brow gel will come in handy as well as the eye pencil but for the time being they are a bit too dark 
So now for setting spray and the setting spray that you guys chose was the XX Revolution Glow Fix setting spray. Give this bad boy a shake up. This setting spray I love but honestly it stinks. Like it's such a good setting spray, got a really fine mist, helps to keep my makeup stay in place but it's also not matte either so it just makes my skin look that little bit more dewy. It also helps to just kind of help all the powder products blend in together so that it doesn't just look like different bits of powder just on my face but it has like a horrible smell it has like an industrial cleaning product smell it's honestly it's a horrible smell okay so now i'm going to move on to mascara and the mascara that you guys chose was the beauty bakery eyelash icing mascara so i'm just going to really quickly apply that to my lashes Right, if I seem a little bit shy, it's because my little sister's in the room and I never really film when people are in the room, so that'll be why. But I just went and applied a lip liner, but the lipstick that you guys chose was the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade Maud or Mode. I'm not actually sure. M-A-U-D-E, whatever you want to call that. I really don't know if I like this lipstick. Oh, it's dark. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> I just want to look how dark it is. Dark. There's no point with that lip liner. I know. Do you know what? It looked dark when I first put it on, but I actually like it. Let's just hope it sits nice on my lips. Okay, and then I asked you guys if you wanted me to wear lip gloss or no lip gloss, and you guys said yes to lip gloss. So this is the Skin Chemist London Rose Quartz Lip Plump. One of my favourite glosses. Oh, I love this lip gloss so much. What on now? Oh no. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, and this is the finished look. So this is what you guys created. I'm really, really happy with it actually. I wish I did the eyes a little bit darker, maybe more brown instead of like a ready colour. Other than that, I actually really like it. This is the finished look. I'll be back when I've got my clothes on and I've sorted my hair out. But yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so I'm back completely red air and I feel very, very awkward because Megan's still in the room. <laughs> I never ever film outros or a film when people are in the room regardless. But outros are always cringy anyway, so I'm just gonna have to try and make this one not as cringy. <laughs> anyway, I'm really happy with all the makeup that you guys chose to be honest. The only thing I kind of wish I did, which is more on me, is I did like more of a brown eye than a ready coloured eye. Just so it matched with the lip a bit better. But other than that, everything looks really, really nice, to be honest. And yeah, I love doing these videos. So I'm definitely going to do more in the future. Thank you for everyone who contributed in the polls because it really helped me out. Obviously, I wouldn't have been able to film this video otherwise. Like I said, if you do want to be involved in any videos like this in the future, make sure you go and follow my Instagram. It's just at Alana Kelly. It's the same as everywhere else. That's basically everything I have for you today. Sorry I took such a long break. I'm definitely going to be back now. I'm not taking no more breaks. So long as my videos don't get deleted again. So pray for my videos. But yeah, I'm going to go for a walk now, even though it's dark outside. But you know, I'm always running late. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. And comment down below if you want to comment down below. <laughs> Megan's just like looking at me smiling. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for joining me until the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs>